Hello Gwenkins, I hope you all are well. Our today's chapter is from Geography Book. Chapter Natural Vegetation and Wildlife Dear Gwenkins, as we have already discussed that our earth is unique as it has a green cover over it which is called as natural vegetation. The green cover is possible because the sunlight, water and soil are available on earth. The plants produce their own food from the sunlight, water and carbon dioxide. Sunlight and rainfall are the two vital factors which control the type of vegetation. Our biosphere has a great variety of living things. From microscopic bacteria to huge plants and animals, scientists have identified about 1.7 million organisms. And this great diversity of life is called as biodiversity. To support life in different surroundings, nature has a system which ensures that living things get everything they need to survive from their surroundings. Now dear Gwinkins, let's see how these systems work. Ecosystem Living things need energy in the form of food. Animals like goats uh, eat grass. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, in turn, they are eaten by animals like tiger. And when these plants and animals die, microorganisms feed on their remains. The broken down remains release materials back to the environment for reuse. Thus, our life supporting unit in nature where all living things are dependent on each other and on the environment is called as ecosystem. Now, dear Gwenkins, revise the same subtopic. And what you need to do is you need to make a model of ecosystem. You can take uh, plastic animals or, you know, printed pictures of animals. Or you can even cut out images of animals that naturally occur in your ecosystem. And place them in different places inside the ecosystem. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day.